IGN got a hands-on preview of Atomic Heart. Yeah, I heard. I'm just still not convinced this shit's ever coming out. It gets like a release date every couple of years, only to miss the release date and then go another few years. It's been in development for like a decade now. It looks very cool though, should it ever come out. Atomic Heart wears its influences on its sleeve. Thanks it's a graphic first-person shooter packed with superpower-like abilities and owes a lot to classics of the genre Bioshock and Half-Life. However, that doesn't mean it hasn't got many of its own unique ideas and surprises also hidden up that same sleeve. And from playing a considerable amount of Munfish's debut, there's a lot to be excited about. I also think the long time in Atomic development hell is usually a death sentence. The usually the game comes out and it is fucking terrible. Scorn off the top of my head for the most recent one, God. Jesus Christ. It in a very unfamiliar world. Its opening takes obvious cues from Bioshock Infinite's masterful introduction to Columbia as you take a leisurely trip through a peaceful alternate history Soviet city. Thanks to the big brains at the fictional facility 3826, robots have been integrated oh, into Cyberpunk's society another great and example. help relieve the public from everyday stresses and labor. The calm <clears> is <throat> short-lived, however, as inevitably the AI turns not so friendly and the game begins in earnest. Thanks to give some sage. From there, I've jumped around to several different points in Atomic Heart to get a proper feel of what it has to offer, consistently being surprised by what came next. It's not the straight up corridor shooter some may envisage, nor a sprawling open world full of nooks to explore, or a puzzle filled brain teaser. It's all of those things and more. The scope oh. of Atomic Heart is impressive, as you'll make your way through its many distinct and large sci-fi- I mean, it looks cool. All Everything they've ever shown looks cool. I'm just very skeptical it comes out. And if it does actually come out at some point, it will probably end up being mediocre, unfortunately. If history's taught us anything. Look at the tier 1 Patriots and the Prime Ghouls.